Hello and welcome to this video. Today we will be using the NC4 tool setter to check whether any of our edges of our tools are chipped or if any of our inserts are missing. So today I welcome back Ian who has all the technical know-how and the knowledge when it comes to the NC4. Ian, what is edge checking? So edge checking is part of our standard measuring cycle 9x62. When used, it allows us to check for missing inserts or damaged edges after the measurement is complete. 9862, isn't that the length and the diameter measurement cycle? Yes, it is. But by adding a C input, we're instructing the cycle to also perform an edge check. So you said we can scan the edges to look for chips, but can we also use this cycle to check whether all the inserts or edges are present? Yes, you can also do this with the edge check cycle. Rather than scan the tool, you can fix the tool at a specific position and then confirm all the edges are present. Again, this happens after the tool measurement phase is complete. So is this available to everyone? Like our high-speed broken tool cycle 9866, this cycle requires a special mode to be enabled by the installer called latch mode. Therefore, it's not always available. And how do you know if it's enabled or not? If you're unsure, the best way is to run the cycle on a good tool, one of known size, in good condition and with minimal runout. If the tool always fails, then you know the mode is not connected. Right, so let's start with a simple check first. In the machine, we have an end mill with three inserts. What we want to do is measure the length, measure the diameter, and then check whether all the inserts are present. Okay, so Ian, could you take us through that, please? Yeah, sure. So I prepared a program previously. Uh, the first line is to call the tool into the spindle. The second line is the line is our cycle and the cycle name is 9862. B3 tells the cycle that we want to measure length and diameter. R is the diameter of the tool and the most important input C is the number of teeth. Okay, so just to clarify there then Ian, if we omit the C inputs altogether, the cycle won't do any edge checking. It will just do our standard length and diameter measurements. Yes, that's correct. And are we checking every individual edge? Yes, each individual edge is checked. Are there any additional inputs that we need to consider? Yes, there are two inputs. There is the K input and the Z input. The K input is the distance inside the measured diameter where you want the check to take place. If you don't program that, the default value is 25 microns, and I'm quite happy with that for this example. The second input is the Z input. That is the distance from the bottom of the tool where you want the check to take place. The default value is five millimeters. Again, I'm happy with that, so I haven't programmed it today. So we're using both the default values on this example. Okay, so are we ready to cycle start? Yes, we certainly are. Okay, so the 9862 cycle has measured the tool, um, has performed an edge check, and no alarms have been issued, which is telling us that all three inserts are present. Yes, and also we've updated the tool length and geometry because we use the B3 input. So could we perform an edge check, but without updating the tool length and the diameter? Yes, if you'd used a B4 input rather than a B3 input, only the tool check element is performed by the cycle. In this scenario, the cycle assumes that the values in the tool offset are already accurate. Let's remove an insert, repeat the cycle, and this time we should see an alarm. Okay, no problem. Okay, we're ready. Right, should we cycle start? Yes. Okay, so the edge checking has failed. We've been issued an alarm. Now, because you used the B3 input, we wanted the tool to be updated if it had passed. Obviously it's failed. So has the tool been updated? No, because it has detected that one of the inserts is missing, the length of the tool and the diameter of the tool have not been updated. 
it simply issued an alarm. If we had a sister tool in the carousel, are we able to suppress that alarm so we can carry on running in a lights out situation? Yes, if you add an M1 input to the cycle line, we won't issue the alarm. We'll simply set variable hash 148 to a value. Then a programmer can build some logic around the status of hash 148. We have examples of this in our programming guides and we've talked about it in a previous video. Okay, so let's move on to our second tool, which is a 16 millimeter ends mill. This tool has four flutes. This is going to be a slightly more complex uh, cycle than the last one because we're actually scanning along the edges of the tool looking for defects such as chips. So Ian, could you take us through this cycle and any input changes we need? Yes, sure. So I prepared a cycle and the cycle is very similar to the cycle we ran previously. We have the cycle name 9862, B3, length and diameter, the diameter of the tool 16, I've changed the actual number of teeth to four. The previous tool had three. And I've introduced three new inputs. The first one is K. That is the distance inside the measured diameter where you want the check to take place. I've added X, which is the distance I want to check over five millimeter range. And I've added the Z input, which is the distance from the bottom of the tool where you want the radius measure to take place, but also where you want the scan to start. Okay, to summarise, we want to measure the length of this tool and then measure the diameter one millimetre up from the bottom, which is our Z input. And we want to scan up the tool a range of five millimetres, which is our X input. And we're looking for defects such as chips bigger than 30 microns, which is our K input. Okay, then Ian, let's press cycle start and see what happens. Okay. Okay, so no alarms this time, no chips have been detected, so this means our tool offsets have been updated? Yes. Okay, so now to our final tool, it's a 12 millimeter end mill, has three cutting edges, but one of the edges has got a very small chip in it. In fact, it's not even noticeable to the naked eye. So we're hoping, Ian, that this cycle can detect it? Yes, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so we have a run out edge missing alarm, which we were expecting. Never in doubt, will we, Ian? Indeed it wasn't. The cycle has picked up the small damage on the tool, which will then stop any future machining problems and poor surface finish. Fantastic. Well, thanks, Ian. Well, I hope today's video has been of some use to you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And remember to check those tools.